Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with, um, with a note on geo-referencing and viewing uh, satellite images in um, two navigation programs. I'm going to start with OpenCPN and then we'll follow up with one on Expedition. And this is a follow-up on an article we have just posted online which explains the sources of these sat satellite cloud images. And I'll put the name or the link to this blog post, Satellite Cloud Images Underway. And we, exp in this article, we go in and explain the various um, maps uh, or satellite images that are available. And let me skip ahead here for a minute and show you something. This is, these are the very, from the U.S. Now we're talking about uh, the satellite images that are available from the National Weather Service. There are images from other parts of the world and there are also images from the U.S. For directly from the GOES satellite uh, server. But we're not talking about those now. We're talking about only those maps that in satellite images made by the National Weather Service or processed by the National Weather Service. And these are available at roughly the synoptic times. The actual maps are made every hour or so, but the ones we're talking about are coming from the National Weather Service server, and it's about once, uh, excuse me, about, whoa, what's going on? Oh, I'm in the pictures, sorry. This is the picture. And this shows the different, uh, uh, the different images. And two of them on the Pacific here are uh, what's called polar azimuthal. Uh, projection. So these are really, really very distorted pictures, and so there's, but OpenCPN takes them right in stride and uh, geo-references them. The other are rectilinear, but I want to point out, and it becomes clear at various applications, even though these are rectilinear, they are not Mercator, and so uh, to do our best job. So here's this document, and I'll put a link to it, and what it does is it then shows all the pictures, and it also shows uh, how to get the latest, uh, ver the late, most current version of each one. If you have an internet connection, you just click that button. So we go down and list all of those like that. They're there. And then the other thing that's in this article, I'll come back up to the top here, is now we then organize these. These are, the, if you have a, a HF radio and you're d downloading them by an HF radio facsimile, uh, then this this table here shows what those um, when those are broadcasted, and this, again and this article explains uh, explains those things. Now then the other thing, which I'll just excuse me for buzzing by here, we've also made this into a briefing, what we call a briefing, and this is a PDF. This is a PDF which you can download online. I mean, it's a free PDF you download, and that includes all the information that's in these briefings. So this shows you what these maps are. So if you can take this PDF and load it in your phone or tablet or computer, and then you have a way to, uh, uh, to, to keep a reference of what these different maps are. Because it's frankly very confusing, very confusing without this kind of guide. And then when you have this PDF on your phone or something, you let's see what's going on here. That's a browser. Here's a PDF. You can just, this PDF, oh, I know what's going on. Every time I'm clicking it, I'm opening it. That's what it is. Sorry. Uh, these, are, these are set up to be hot links. You can then click this one, for example, and, and download all of these. So that's an interactive PDF. Okay, but that's not the issue at hand now. Right now, I want to show how easily OpenCPN uh, geo-references these maps. And so here's geo, here is the, um, here is the version. Uh, this is the PC version, and I want to. And here is the plugin. It's called WeatherFacts plugin, and this is version 1.8. Uh, that's the latest version. That, that There may even be an update on that coming out shortly. In the Macintosh side, the latest version at this moment is 1.5, but it will be updated with 1.8, I'm told, very shortly. And uh, again, um, they both may be updated. I mean, there's been some work on revitalizing these and getting them fine-tuned. But uh, so let me just close all that down. Why are those still there? That ah, that's because I downloaded them and studied them before. But the way that you um, 
you open, let me just close this, I open this PDF here, and then you say retrieve, retrieve. Now we're going on the internet, so I'm going to say internet. These are the ones that actually I've already down, you know, just in preparing to have this talk on the phone here, on the phone, on the whatever it is, computer. Um, I downloaded a few of these to test them. But it works like this. You would go in here, and it's really, this is an amazing plugin, right? The OpenCPN program is quite amazing, and this plugin is part of the amazing part of it. And here's one of them. You go to NOAA, or uh, you can go to NOAA, then you can go to like Point Reyes here. And then that brings up all the all the products that are broadcast over the HF radio for from Point Reyes and uh, NMC that station NMC. And here's a uh, here's this uh, satellite. And no, notice there's three satellites coming for the Pacific, and those are all explained on that on that one. This is the large one. This one is what uh, this is what we call a P2. This is essentially. This is essentially the full view, the full flat earth or full disk view from goes west, uh, this image right here. And I think with this, I think you can just click it. Yeah, so it's reminding me that I did this just less than 180 minutes ago. Do I want to use the same one? And I'll just say yes. Okay, so then it brings it in and uh, bang, that's it. That thing's geo-referenced and is there and it's on the chart. Now I know, and here's why I'm saying there's maybe some tweaks here because we can we can do a little bit better on this, and I'll and I'll maybe come back to this in a minute and show you how you could how you could fix that up. But that's that one, and then once you have this here, then you can start downloading the maps. You can go over here to Point Reyes and find the uh, you know the surface analysis maps here, and I think I did that here. Uh, let's say uh, part one, yeah. You see that, and that's a geo reference, and you literally just click that, and that brings that in. There's part two. Oh well, so by, I, I want to see part two and part one. Just hold your shift key down and load them both. And then if I want to look at that, hold the shift key down and bring in the satellite view. And so then you have this amazing tool that you can go in and look at, uh, study how the clouds... Now, you have to double check the times, of course. This one is 00 Zulu on the 15th. And then you see this cloud picture. That's a 15 December 00. So these are at the same time. And I am actually making another article and video to discuss the tactical use of these cloud pictures with navigation. But one simple use is it helps you understand the maps. It's, it shows you where, the, where some of the systems are. And then you can also, let's see, where's my Gia? You could also, let me just say I shut off the maps. No, I shut off, I keep the picture. And then I want to compare it to the grib files. So you can go and get the grib files. And this is a, a GFS grib file for um, December 5th, same hour, like that. So that, that's, the, that's the purpose of these. Let me uh, go back and look at something else here. Um, where is this? Uh, let me go get this tropical one here. Okay, yes. All right, so this is another one. And this is a tropical. This is the, okay, and I'm going to get rid of the, the grib file. Okay, let's just look at the, ah, okay, so this does bring up something. So this is now the Gulf of Mexico and, the, and this area here. But let's just look at this as a way to, Right now, this particular version, this geo-referencing is off a little bit. But the way this program is made is, and again, I think in a few weeks when you download this, uh, these are going to be built in correct. But you can fix them yourself, uh, and it'll save what you do in the fixing. So what you would do, let's see, how do I do that? Can I just click that one? Yeah, so I just went over, I just went over here and double clicked that, and that opened that thing up. I think you can also choose that one. Yeah, you can choose that, and then go File, Edit. That's another way to do that, but double clicking. Okay, so there's the interactive, there's the actual image. That Whoops, that's getting pretty big for Mike. Television camera here. Uh, let me bring that down here. 
otherwise it won't fit on the screen okay so there's that then just hit uh, none of this we need to worry about hit next and now is where we uh, look at the georeferencing functionality and here's what the problem is I believe they are uh, and if you read our article on these maps the maps look like Mercator but if you really put a ruler on them or something like that you'll see they're not Mercator so this one this this georeferencing is assuming this input is a Mercator it's not a Mercator so let's just call it fixed flat and and you'll see that so then, so that's the right input type. We want Mercator coming out. That's okay. Then, uh, let's see, the red, the red was set at 3120. Let's see, where's 120? 3120. So the red, look, that red's off a little bit. 3120 is right here. So I'm going to click the first one is right here. And that's uh, 30. And, and, in the, and in this program and in most of the world, west longitudes are negative numbers, negative numbers. And so these are the core, these are actually pixels. These are pixels on this image. And these are uh, the lat lon uh, we want in um, their even degrees. But you can, you can turn this on here and it'll show the, the minutes. We don't need that right now. So let's go to the, the red one and green one. And after you've clicked one of these, it automatically shifts down here. So the next button I click on here is going to be green. And that's going to be, that was at 10 and 180. Let's see, where were we? Oh yeah, 30 is the top of this one. Then we're going to be basically at the bottom of this one, 180. And this line here, you just double check what it is, and it's 10. Okay, good. So the green one should be here. So I just very carefully go here and click it. Now, you want it, when doing this, you want to be careful not just randomly click this. If I click this next, it's going to reassign the red one. So just once you've got those right, you're done, right? And let's see if that's enough to do it. Let's just see if that's enough to do it. Uh, no, not quite. Uh, let's just after that let's say get mapping and and um, these actually don't matter that much but I'm gonna let that go okay so I hit the get mapping there also is look there's some pretty nice instructions here uh, I would I would read those um, uh, next now okay finish now you see we got this guy He's spot on the money now. And so that's going to be saved. And I'm going to just make you one note here. Um, well, yeah, one. I'll finish up with one note. Well, actually, uh, this, actually I stopped. Uh, that note was wandering off into space, and it was not going to be productive at this point. So I'm just ending here. Thank you.